Hello, it's Joe Walensky. I'm Program Manager for ConveyUX, Seattle's annual user experience conference coming up again February 28th, March 1 and March 2, and I'm talking with another one of our speakers who will be here at our conference today. Uh, I'm, I'm in Seattle, but I'm speaking with Von Gando. Hello, Yvonne. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Yeah, everything's just fine. Uh, where are you speaking to us from today? So my, I'm actually at the Google headquarters in Mountain View, California, um, slipping away to, to do this, this little talk with you. So really great to be here. Thank you so much. Well, I, 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 I've been there. It's always a, a fun place to visit with all the uh, cool stuff you have going on. So what, what's your favorite uh, uh, eating establishment within the Google Play? Favorite eating establishment? I think that's going to have to be Kitchen Sink because I do uh, have a favorite sushi dish there that um, I get to cut the line because I know the chef. So <laughs> it's, it's really awesome. He's, he does a, a good uh, tuna roll that I, I always get every, every Tuesday. So. All right, outstanding. Well, uh, today we want to talk a little bit uh, about you and your contribution to the conference. So I thought maybe you could uh, start uh, with a little bit of uh, discussion about your background and the types of things that you do at Google. Sure, absolutely. So I think I started content strategy work probably about a decade ago. Um, I remember being exposed to Christina Hammerson's seminal work, um, content strategy for the web. I bought that, I tucked that under my arm and like poured over that. And like through every interview I went to, no matter if it was an agency or a small startup or a huge enterprise, I, you know, I spat a lot of those truths because those were types of uh, strategies that I would use in my day-to-day -day work. And I found that not many people knew about the discipline, um, but many organizations had the need. And so that's kind of how I got into it. Um, first started off as a copywriter for agencies and small companies. Um, and then I ended up building my own content strategy firm. Learned a lot about that um, from, gosh, just being having really great clients and like a lot of learnings from um, trying to scale content and really thinking about the user journey. And so that kind of led me into to Google. And so I started at a Google Shopping Express. So this is kind of a kind of the same day delivery model of um, e-com. And um, from there, you know, I've uh, been able to lead uh, writing on social apps like Google Plus. And currently now I'm leading writing on um, Allo um, and Duo. So those are two of Google's newest apps uh, that we just launched um, and was, they were announced at IO this year um, by Sundar, or CEO. And, um, the movement that we're making towards kind of assistive UX is really interesting to me right now. And in my day-to-day -day work, I love digging into that. So we've got a lot of integration points in Allo with um, the Google Assistant. And that's garnered a lot of interest um, by way of just, you know, chatbots and artificial intelligence. And I think the role of the writer in that spot is, is a really, it's an auspicious time for us because there's so much converging by way of um, interaction and language. Um, localization, and um, I think we're in a really great position to be able to inform the user journey um, across these critical moments to make, you know, writing be that, that glue to um, really just uh, fostering a really great experience. Well, your uh, conference topic is uh, entitled uh, Employing UX Research Methods to Create User-Informed Text, so maybe you could uh, tell us a little bit about how the things that you're working on Google have uh, have contributed to the topic you're going to talk about and what some of the things are that we can expect to learn. Absolutely. So, you know, funny thing, it started because, you know, uh, my co-presenter, Utkar Seth, he and I actually were sitting right next to each other. He's a researcher, I'm a writer, and we each had questions about the other's kind of work. And um, for instance, uh, he wanted to know in what capacity could UX writing help kind of his product managers with their projects. And I wanted to know what kind of um, partnerships has he had with um, writing because I wanted to kind of be able to champion this more um, user-informed uh, writing approach. Um, oftentimes, we're in conference rooms where people kind of spout out their opinions, and, and that's great and all, but it's not necessarily validated by user um, insights. And I wanted to be able to understand how we could partner together. And so it started off with um, just 
several uh, lab studies that Seth was running, I decided to kind of go and, and peek in and sit in and really listen to users as they kind of went through our apps and they had certain points where they would stumble and they a lot of these points were like messaging and, and language related. So, you know, we did a lot of rapid iterative testing and in between each session, I was able to come in and tweak language to um, kind of create a better experience for the next participant. So we did this kind of, you know, cadence of rapid testing and, you know, really married up these two disciplines. And over the matter of like just two quarters, I would say, we were able to find so many projects where we, this fruitful partnership was, we were able to kind of get in really great changes that were super, that were validated by users and kind of get that into product live. Um, in the space of what would probably be like a quarter of the time had we not had all that user testing in, in that rapid cadence. Um, and so from there, um, we had a lot of questions from other product teams like Google about like how we were able to validate the text that we were putting into these um, different user journeys. And we ended up giving a talk about you know our process and case studies that pointed to a um, really great uplift in user engagement um, because of these tests and really using listening to the users and then from there we were able to then teach a class at google being able to like just capture documented and codified these best practices and across google um, writers and researchers are kind of really excited about this partnership and understanding how they could apply them to apply these learnings to their product areas um, and so, yeah, that's kind of just where this began. And we, I would say we worked on at least 10 or so projects that really delved into that partnership where I really kind of used his insights in terms of the different methods that he used. And he used mine in terms of like being able to tweak language across the experience, um, working with product, and, uh, product uh, managers, engineers, UX designers, and really kind of rallying around and collaborating um, really intensively around um, these efforts. Well, it's great to uh, hear uh, about that story, and uh, I think it would be a lot of fun uh, to uh, hear it in person when you're here in Seattle. I know I'm, I'm personally very interested and in, in do a lot of work in that content strategy area, and uh, we'll also be talking to, I'll be talking to your uh, colleague, uh, Utkarsh, uh, a little bit uh, later in the process and make sure we have a session preview uh, from his perspective. So thanks for uh, taking the time uh, to uh, chat with me and, and we'll see you uh, at, at the event. Awesome. Um, it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time as well, Joe, and I'm excited to see you. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Yvonne. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.